how do you fix read-only file systems? Okay. So, uh, so if we look at the mount command, we can see right here that my home file system is mounted read-only. And we can mm -hmm. see that this is the case by actually uh, logging in as that user again. Right, and we're told we can't do stuff because it's a read-only file system. All right, so the question was, how do you how do you make that no longer read-only? Right here, that is the file system and it's mounted a home and it shows us a bunch of the options that it's mounted with. And you can notice that one of the options is read-only. So there are a couple of ways to fix it. One is you can unmount the file system, which will detach it from your machine. But sometimes you can't do that because mm -hmm. that user was logged. We'll be told that the file system is busy and we can't remove it while it's in use. Or maybe um, that's the web root we, of your web application, or maybe that's where your database lives or something, right? And you can't just unmount it. Yeah. You could reboot the machine maybe, but also that has its own problems, right? Because now you're taking it out of service and you may not be able to do that. So the right. other thing that you can do is there's an option for mount. called remount mm -hmm. and yep. remount is how you make a live change to the mount options on a file system that's mounted and i'm going to make it read write yep all right so you can see down there it's mounted read write and if i actually uh, log in as that person again i touch the file there it is no problems, it's read right now. So mount dash O remount, and you tell it the options that you want to use or you want to change on your currently mounted file system, and it'll do it live. Because when I, I don't always test, but when I do it in production. Now um, in the chat, however, there's an important point brought up by Billy, and that is that it's important to understand why it's read only before you just make it read write again, right? Especially with EXT based file systems, if that file system is dirty, if it failed the file system check, it'll automatically go to read-only mode. And if you just switch it back to read-write, there's a possibility you could cause damage to the file system. So you're going to want to look through logs and whatnot and figure out when it went read-only and why before you just go ahead and make it read-write. In this case, Scott knew it went read-only because he switched it to read-only. And maybe that's just something that happened. But usually when you find a read-only file system, there's some underlying reason as to why it's read-only, and you're going to want to suss that out before you just make it read-write and carry on with your day. And the other place where I see things dynamically change to read-only unexpectedly is if you're having disk failures mm -hmm. and you've had enough failures of your disk that the kernel's like, whoa, whoa, there's something really bad going on here. It'll flip your file system to read-only to make sure that you're not trying to write data and losing it because you right. have bad block or stuff on your failing disk drive. Uh, those are very, one, there's a very clear message that is provided by the kernel as a write all to all terminals that says that it's yep. flipping it to read only. The other thing is if you look in the uh, varlog messages file, you will see a ton of error messages referencing your specific disk device saying seeks timed out, meaning it couldn't read data off of it or writes timed out meaning it couldn't write data to it. Like Nate said, look in the logs, try and see if there's something else going on that caused that automatic flip to occur. But yep. the other place where I see read-only happening is people will make file systems like user read-only because they don't want new stuff installed on their machine. But then they need to apply updates. Right. So they can flip it right, apply their updates, flip it back to read-only so that new stuff can't be installed on the machine. So there are like real reasons why one would choose to make things read only and then not and then back again. Yes, that is true. 